Hello, everyone. First thing is first, uh, let me know that you can hear me. Let me know how the sound is coming through. And I see we already got some comments in here. Yes, I will wait to continue until you guys confirm that you can hear me okay. All righty. Perfect. See, Bird Villain had said already people leaving fragrance recommendations which is amazing. Uh, Paradise Fragrance, hello. What's up, Cam, Brian, hey, Alex, Julius White, KJ. We got Fragrance Profile. Such a nice guy, thank you. Emily, hello. Good to see you. Kyler, Tosh, Awad, hello. Matush, hello. Good to see you. Okay, so um, raise your hand if you're a Tony Baker fan. If you know who Tony Baker is, then you know what this means. It's a gloomy Saturday. Uh, I don't know if you can see the I'm in the way of the background. It doesn't matter, but it's gloomy out there. Beautiful nonetheless. Uh, we need to see Dustin and Custom. Kyler. <laughs> uh, speaking of Custom. In terms of my um, parody series, it is the satire. Uh, yeah, it's on hold at the moment. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. I already know the direction I want to go in, but still filling out what it might look like and just hoping that you guys are interested to see that. Um, let's see. Dimitri Santanity. All righty. Um, what are you guys wearing today? I'm wearing Gucci Guilty Absolute. Definitely not a fan favorite, but I love it. it smells amazing. I'm loving it right now. Uh, how am I liking BDK, Gris Charnel? Miko, I am really loving Gris Charnel as well as the x straight version. Both are fantastic. Hello, Cheryl. Good to see you. Rose Santal by Chatillon Lou. I still have yet to try more of that brand. I know they got some good stuff. American based indie house. San Lucas, good stuff. Yeah, that one's it's a solid summer scent. Jet Black Intense, very nice. Uh, Percival, can't go wrong with that. Emily's wearing Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. Joe Malone, I need to try more Joe Malone fragrances. That sounds wonderful. Versace Pour Homme, Manzara Black Gold. That's a great scent. Haven't smelled it in years, but that one is really nice. Uh, very strong. Boss Bottle, classic. James from New Zealand, hello. Men New York Barrel, don't know that one, but sounds amazing, Dimitri. Uh, Ball de Freak, love it. Still don't have it. Been meaning to get it forever. Um... Couture Blue 140. Yeah, that one's nice. Bronze Goddess. Very nice. Um, Green Lover. Hey, hands up for Green Lover. Great one. Uh, Lolita Limpica. Uh, Cedrop Boise Intense. Still need to try that, Nathan. Versace o Fresh. Classic. 100 Silent Ways. That's a beautiful scent from Nishan. That great floral scent. Uh, Renaissance, good stuff, Craig. Oud Mineral, that's a part of my heart, Dennis. I love that one so much. Uh, Neil, yeah, definitely great for hot weather, Scott. Aqua di Gio Profumo, classic. Mas Milano Mandala, ooh, gorgeous. I think it's a tea based scent, awesome scent. Good stuff, Tyree. Uh, Feb Delicious and the one, interesting. It sounds really sweet, <laughs> but I'm sure it's good. 
uh, Fleur de Po by Diptyque. I still got to try that one. Rosasi Hawass. Fun fact, I still have yet to try Hawass. I've been hearing about it for like five years. I never tried it. Harmon is hypnotizing fire. I have tried that one, Sean, a courtesy of my friend Cam. And it's, it's awesome from what I remember. 3 a.m., good stuff, kid, cool. Okay, we could go on and on. You guys are smelling great today. That's what it sounds like. Thank you all for tuning in. And uh, we have an objective in this video. As I mentioned in my community post just a couple short hours ago, um, I have recently sold a bunch of fragrances that I was not wearing, nor even featuring in videos. I wanted to make space for some new stuff. So shout out to some of you guys who reached out uh, and participated in the purge. Um, so I was putting all my fragrances away. In fact, just yesterday, I finally finished unpacking all of my fragrances and they're all in their shelves and I'm looking and I have my niche luxury indie shelf and then I have my designer shelf and I'm looking at them and my niche shelf is packed to the brim. And my designer shelf is looking a little slim, not much going on in there. There's definitely some crickets. So I'm like, you know what? I need some new blood. I've been really pushing designers out of my space over the past couple of years in terms of newer releases, because I've just been disheartened by just, you know, the same cyclical stuff. They're just money making machines and they're keeping them oiled by pumping out these flankers every year. So I haven't been interested to try anything. Uh, aside from Dior Sauvage Elixir, which I mentioned, um, I do enjoy that one. But prior to that, which I think came out 2021, um, I haven't bought anything since 2020. And when I bought like the new Hermes H24, I bought Armani Code Eau de Parfum. I think that was it. And both of those were disappointments. The Hermes, I like a little bit more than the Armani. The Hermes is nice. I've worn it a few times and I enjoy it, but it's just not what I was hoping for in relation to Terre d'Hermes, which is their most recent men's marketed release before that. So anyway, we are looking for new fragrances. I have a few websites already up here. I've already done a little bit of scanning here and there, but nothing deep. So I am going to be looking at your comments here. If there are any new releases, I'm talking about this year or maybe even last year and within the last two years, I'm trying to keep it pretty recent. Anything that really moves you guys, I'm not looking for something that just smells good. I have plenty of those. I'm not looking for another blue fragrance. I'm not looking for just a summer banger or anything like that. I know I could be asking for too much <laughs> by looking at designer fragrances and expecting something moving, but that's why I'm looking for you guys. Something that moves you, something that interests you every time you wear it, something that, you know, it doesn't have to get you compliments. If it does, that's great, but I'm not concerned about that. I am looking for new blood. I want to know who's putting out some good stuff. So, uh, let's see what we got going on here. Trouble fit. Is that, does that mean like trouble party or something? That sounds interesting by Givenchy. I don't know it. Uh, Chanel Egoiste, great scent. Not really a fragrance that came out in the last two years, but, oh, maybe that's just what you're wearing. Uh, Euphoria Amber Gold. Again, I'm looking for new releases uh, at the moment. I've almost picked up Amber Gold a couple of times. Um, unless that is new. Am I thinking of another one? I thought that was one that came out years ago. I see Kenzo Tokyo. Okay. Bijan Bijan. No, have not tried that. Light Blue Italian Love. Is that a banger, Giancarlo? I'm, I'm looking for bangers. And not just ones that smell super easy and breezy i'm looking for something that is like okay wow this is interesting this is not really like anything else in my collection that's what i'm looking for i've heard good things about it though i heard it has that nice grapefruit 
if that's the one, I don't remember. Uh, Jim Valshi, Gentleman Reserve Privé. I've considered that one. Um, I've heard it's kind of like Dior Ohm. And also we're coming up on the summertime, so I may not pick up anything quite in that realm because I won't be getting much wear out of it. Uh, Gucci Midnight Stroll. That sounds amazing. I hear that's very expensive, but I'd love to try it. Strong with you, absolutely. Again, may not get much wear out of that into the season. So yeah, maybe I should uh, specify. I'm not co completely averse to cooler weather fragrances, but warmer weather scents are gonna be my priority. Okay, I'm going to stop blabbing. So this will be my first time doing this. I'm going to share my screen. Um, forgive me if there are any um, technical difficulties. I can't even speak. Technical difficulties. I'm going to share my screen so you can, can see what I'm looking at. And hopefully this works. Cam, does that even exist? That's what we're here to find out. Here we go. Share screen. I hope this works. I tried to test it a bit ago. Um, yeah, we'll share that. So let's see what we got here. So I'm going to just hop over here on Fragrance Bot. I have my phone here next to me to make sure that, okay, it looks like this looks good. I, I'm on my phone here. I see my face and I see uh, the web page. Just I want to make sure you guys can still hear me. So let me know that my voice is still coming through. Uh, but we are looking at Google Chrome here, which is just looking glorious today. So I'm just going to pause here and wait to just make sure you guys can hear me because I don't want to be just blabbing and you can't hear me. Yes, it's good, loud and clear. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. OK, so as you can see, I'm on fragrancebuy.ca. This is definitely one of my favorite websites to check out um, in regards to discounted fragrances and in regards to new releases. Now, this is not sponsored by Fragrance Buy. I don't even think they know who I am. I've shopped with them many times. I've never talked to them before, so they don't know that I'm here. Uh, so this is not a plug for them or anything like that. I just started here because this is always a great place to start when you want new stuff. So I clicked on their new arrivals section i love coming here I don't, I don't come here all that often i don't really again i haven't really been shopping for designers much at all so it's been a while since i've been here so i came here and i was kind of looking through i'm going to keep an eye on your comments as well um and if you guys see anything that you've tried and and is amazing only amazing not just good but amazing let me know i see this new isse miyaki nuit de se bois arctic I don't know anything about that. I do have um, Fragrantica open here. In fact, I was looking at the first fragrance that caught my eye before I, I'm gonna look, check out the Issey Miyake, but the first one that caught my eye, I know there's a, a bunch I'm skipping here because I looked at them, is the Dior Homme Sport 2020, I know it's 2021 edition, or 2022, but it came out in 2021, it's weird. So I'm looking at this. I was checking it out here on Fragrantica and it sounds interesting. At first, I was kind of skeptical about it, but people are saying it is actually a little different. Now, I want you guys to tell me, if you've tried this, let me know in the comments, what do you think? How uh, does it wear for you? Um, is it worth picking up for the summertime? I hear that it performs pretty decently. I do like the original Dior Homme 2020. I'm a fan of that. So if it's in that realm, I'm cool with it. I do want it to be a little bit more different than that. I see... Mock or make, I'm sorry, it says it's garbage. Nathan says nice, but not a banger. Julia says it's fire. I knew we were going to get a split here. Uh, Tom Ford Costa Azura and trying to spend that real money, H worth. <laughs> uh, and Mancera and Ten Cedro Boise. Again, if I could find it here, maybe I'll consider that. I'm trying to focus on designers. It's okay. R Ryan Ramirez says it's okay. Um, who else has tried Dior Homme Sport 2021? What do you think? I got a sample of the new version. I can say it's a little different. Okay, I tried it. It wears very dry, woody, clean, and classic, similar to new Dior Homme, but better. Okay, new Dior Homme Sport belongs in the Sauvage line. Interesting. It's a good citrus fragrance. 
woody and broxony and nice incense smoky twist it's interesting but nothing too crazy okay tried it didn't like it it's trash man i'm seeing a lot of thumbs down for this one uh i and i see people saying it's good but it's not amazing we'll keep that on the back burn i don't want to spend too much time focusing on any one fragrance i'm gonna i'm not gonna put it in my cart right now i do like dior so it caught my eye but if it's just okay i'm not looking for just okay i'm looking for something that you know you're going to want to wear every time you see it you're like oh should i wear that again today because it's that good that's what i'm looking for let me scroll back up to the top so we can see what we're dealing with here now i just saw this here i know the new aqua de joe eau de parfum is here and i'm hesitant to buy this because i already have profumo and Profumo is just okay to me. The whole line is just okay to me. That's just me. But Profumo I have, it's nice. It's probably my favorite in the line thus far. And I heard this has a bit of Profumo in it. And if that's the case, then it sounds like it'll be redundant. But I want you guys to let me know. What do you think of Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum? And again, not just as a fragrance. I know it smells great. I'm sure it performs well. But in the context of having Profumo and having other fresh fragrances, is it a must have? What do you think? Have to buy it. It's like a mix of Profumo and the original. Okay. Have not tried the new Tom Ford Rose fragrances. New ADG is a blend of Profumo and Essenza without the incense longevity and projection. It's horrible. Dylan, that's interesting because I heard it's really great. Uh, H word, thank you. Oh, that's what you said you're wearing. Costa is there a great scent. More like a Senza. Okay. V4 says I need it. That's quite a claim. Um, not needed. Talal says not needed. If I have Profumo, I can skip it. Uh, Giancarlo says, was not blown away by the new EDP. Okay. Uh, Julius says, it's opening is amazing, but it went sour. Okay. That's enough for me. I kind of heard from you guys what I expected to hear. I'm going to move on. Um, how about this one? This is sitting right next to it. Giorgio Armani, stronger with you only for men. I have kind of skipped this entire line. I think I've tried the original in Sephora back when it came out, and I liked it. Not enough to buy it at retail. It was right when it came out. It wasn't discounted yet. And by the time it was discounted, I kind of just was not looking at it anymore. But what do you think if you've tried this one? I think this is the new one, if I'm not mistaken. I think I heard some decent stuff about it, if you guys have tried it. Let's see. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Yes, I see. That's a great scent vocal storage um let's see on hell am i in canada no i'm not in canada i'm in the united states but i shot from here nonetheless uh okay awakened by Tumi is good okay if that's here we'll see it's emporio yes it is emporio my fault elijah my fault intensely still the greatest i hear that this one with you only is, um, oh yeah, I see. They wrote it wrong. You're not taking that in me, Elijah. I didn't write it though. Um, I hear this one's a little bit kind of geared towards warm weather. Is that true? Paige says it's great for a beginner. That makes me skeptical uh, because I'm not looking for beginner stuff. But again, when you're shopping designer, maybe that's what you are doing. Um, Fresher take on the original. Nothing special, Adam says. Talal says freeze is better. Uh, Paradise asked that I try Lacoste Blanc. Yes, I've tried it. I don't have that one, but I do have the, um, what is it? The something, the Garros Tennis Tournament Edition. That's a little different. It's actually really nice and kind of unique. Um, okay, I'm seeing that. Easy skip, freeze is better. Okay, freeze is better. We'll keep it moving. Um, there's another, you know what? Has anyone tried the new Issey? I'm going to look this up right now. Issey Miyaki Nuit de Se Bois Arctic. Let's just look up Bois Arctic. Here it is. Okay. 
beautiful bottle. This came out 2021, Dominic Ropion and Fanny Ball. I love both of them. Uh, I have one fragrance from Fanny Ball that she did for Mosque Milano called Hemingway. Wonderful vetiver fragrance. Uh, the notes look a little basic, but basil as a forefront is not all that common these days. So I'm curious, using that as an herbal quality that is the strongest. Uh, let's see here. I like the base, though. I like this base. I like this contrast, citrus and spice, herbal heart. This looks like it remains fresh, and then it gets warmer, maybe sweeter as it dries down. It looks like performance people say it's not bad let's see anyone try this one bernard i do not have jazz club jazz club is nice i don't love it but it is very nice um let's see what these reviews are saying i'm always very careful with these reviews i see ambrox and amberwood bomb okay I just hope it's not basic. It's nothing wildly new. Okay. Yeah, people don't seem... They don't seem pretty uh, turned on by it. Have you guys tried this one? Again, if you're just tuning in or checking out this one here. Try the new Hobbit Rouge Flanker. That's Max Aroma. We'll get there in a sec. Um, again, we're looking at Issei. I'll put a bookmark in that. If you guys have tried it, let me know. Again, Issei Miyaki, Nuit Issei Bois Arctic. It looks like it's just okay. I'm not interested in this line from Ferragamo. It sounds kind of basic, maybe a little too basic. Um, and also, if anything you see here looks like a banger, I see Heritage. I know this is the original Eau de Toilette, obviously reformulated in the new bottle style. I was considering this, but I already have Danger from Raja Parfums, and I've heard that Raja kind of modeled Danger after this, in which case it feels like it would be redundant, but at the same time, it feels like it's blasphemy to not have the original and instead have one that smells like it. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to hide that message. Uh I enjoyed a lot of the Nuit line. Okay. Kenzo. Pinya, good to see you. Um, let's see here. The, he says the intense is a great one. What is... No, bro, you got to quit with all these, these... What is that? Okay. Um, Arm off Milestone. Yeah, I used to have that one. That one's Okay. Kenzo Power. Okay, let's keep it scrolling. Again, I don't know if I want to get this because it might be redundant and it might be more of a cooler weather scent. So I'm going to keep it moving on that, but it does interest me. Um, not interested in the new Mont Blanc Red at all. The cool water line, I can do without. I heard that the Parfum edition of this is kind of boring. I was very interested because I like Gucci's newest releases. Again, if you missed it, I'm wearing Gucci today. Um, but I hear that one's a little bit boring and it's just like patchouli. Um, and it might just be a stronger version of the original, which is just ant to me. Okay. We're going to move to the second page. I'm not going to be going super deep into this website because I don't want to be here all day. I'll go through a few pa uh, pages, maybe five at the max until we find something. Um, and ideally I'm looking to pick up maybe two fragrances that are going to be great. So again, I am very open to your feedback. Cam says the video is stuck. Is the video stuck? On my screen here, it looks like it's fine. So Cam, I don't know what's going on, but I'm looking, I'm watching it on my phone and it looks like it's okay. But can you guys verify? Um, okay. Okay, not stuck. Cool. Thank you, guys. Okay, Ralph's Club. That's a no. I, just, I think I smelled that out one day. I'm curious in the Brioni. And this is the EDP, which is the newest version. Have you guys tried this? Let me know. Brioni EDP Edition for Men. 
the EDP edition, or is, is it called edition? It's just called Brioni, I think. Have you tried that? Have we tried this one? YSS says no. Fig man, I'm sure it is. Again, we're looking at designers at the moment, Julius. Um, has anyone tried Brioni EDP from 2021? Sam says, yes. Sam, what do you think? Upholdness says no. Uh, such as the frag here and always looking for the next big frag. You know, Jay, that's a funny topic. Um, I feel like I used to live into that for a long time. Not really anymore. Frankly, I have way more than I need, and I'm happy with a lot of what I have. Every now and then, I want to get something new, but not all that often. At least not as often as it used to be. But that is very real. That is what we call addiction. Yes, Moname, or Moname, I'm not sure. Um Again, anybody tried Brioni? I'm going to look it up here real quick. I think the bottle interests me the most. Oh, it looks like they made an intense version. Oh, violet. Ozonic, people say it's powdery. To law 3 a.m. Hey, man, I'm not mad at it. I'm glad you like it. People say it's like Fahrenheit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I do like Violet. It's fine. I'm curious. I'm not turned off by this. I would love to know what you guys think. Someone says intense for sure. Maybe I should focus on the intense version. I, I don't believe that's it. If I see it, I'll check it out. This might be in the cart, though. We'll see about it. I might come back to that. I'm going to open this in a new tab so I can get to it quickly. Okay, let's keep it moving. Carolina Herrera, bad boy, not interested. Um, I literally, this is a fragrance I was just talking about it that made me not want to buy new fragrances anymore. Strong with you, absolutely. Again, we're coming up on summertime. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a ton of wear out of that, even though it does look interesting, but I'm sure it's maybe a sweet bomb. Uh, let's see. Brownie Intense is a clone of Marc Antoine B683. That is quite a claim. S really? B683. I have only have a sample of that. I haven't smelled it in a while. That makes me curious. If that's true, can anyone um, corroborate that? Sam says it's good. No Fahrenheit violets with Ambroxan. It's good, but Lalique Homage is better. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see, gentlemen, reserve privé again. I'll, I might consider if I see it, but um, I'm not really trying to look at cooler weather since because again, it's going to be warm soon. I feel like I've said that many times, so I apologize for repeating myself so much. Okay, we're going to keep it moving. Phantom, the, I can't get behind this bottle. I hear it's interesting. I hear I don't hear it's amazing, but I hear it is interesting. Can anyone? Confirm that Phantom is worth a pickup. Uh, Gucci Guilty EDP. I don't think that's much different from the Parfum, but let's see. Guilty. There it is. Wait, what? This is it? It's a rose scent. I didn't know that. Interesting. Has anyone tried this one? Gucci Guilty, Eau de Parfum. Phantom is not full bottle worthy, Smoke says. Anuj says, I got to have it. Okay. Batman bottle. Yes, indeed. Batman smells like rose. Apparently so, Arash. Apparently so. Has anyone tried this? Has anyone tried this? This is the Eau de Parfum. Gentleman's Journey liked that one. Okay. Is it different? Is this more fall, winter? It looks like it's spicy. There's a little bit of freshness. Balsamic vinegar is very interesting. I'm curious about that. Warm, spicy rose. 
get a sample of that Bois Mystique. I'd love to. Um, you know, I love Polo Parfum. Polo Earth smells like Merle Portofino. Okay. Talal says, I tried it. It's simple and fresh. It doesn't look simple and fresh, but what do you guys think? Not interesting, especially for you as a collector. Okay. Gucci Porom is for spring, summer, and fall. Jamie says it's very good. Ah, okay. Uh, I see quite a, a divide here. I'm going to bookmark it. The note breakdown alone has me intrigued. We're going to bookmark it. We'll keep it moving. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else looks good? Again, we're looking for new stuff. 2020 and newer is what we are trying to focus on. Why? Arbitrarily. I'm just trying to look at newness and give new fragrances a chance when I haven't for a little while. Invictus Intense. Oh, no. In fact, I remember trying that one in stores when it came out. And I think it was just okay to me. But that was years ago. I'm not going to get that. No, that's not new anyway. Let's get to the next page here. Uh, we got Dior Homme Intense, the new one. I am highly disappointed in that fragrance, unfortunately. Uh, what else we got here? Burberry Touch. Yeah, it's going to be great. I don't like Gucci Guilty for Home, but women like it. Yep, that makes sense. Masoni Waves. Phantom is a niche take on Lavender. See, that bottle, though. I don't know. I don't know about Phantom. I'll consider it. If we come across nothing else, maybe. But I don't know. Even then, maybe not. Calvin Klein Defy, that looks... I'm not even going to say anything about that. I've heard about it. People keep saying Philip Klein. I have yet to try this. I think it's one of the ugliest bottles I've ever seen. I'm sorry. I'm not intrigued by this bottle at all. But people keep saying great things about these fragrances. This is the super fresh version, which I have not heard of. I've only heard of the original, which I've heard is similar to Gucci Guilty Absolute. Uh, here it is. Super fresh. Is this a new release? When did this come out? 2021. Alberto Marias is the nose. This, this bottle, man, I just... <sighs> okay. Let's see what we got here. Interesting breakdown. Has anyone tried this? Claude Berry said, Ash said it was great for the price. Credit card bottle. Yeah, Ron. Um, anyone like Burberry Hero? I heard that one's kind of basic, Devin, but yeah, did anyone like that one? Defy isn't that bad, truthfully. Nothing special but effective. Okay. Bottle is mad fragrance is actually quite nice. Invictus Legend is better than the Platinum. Okay. I have the normal no limit. Very good. Okay. It is what it is. Phantom is really good. Okay. Isaac, I'll consider that. This is in regards to the OG. Okay. Oh, you haven't tried the fresh one. Okay. Paco Bond is not exciting me at all. Love, love, live. I never say that word right. Love. Uh, okay. JPG scandal. Maybe. I, I've, that one, I was kind of skeptical, but apparently it's decent. I don't know. Not a super fresh fan. Very dark like the OG. Not a fan of super fresh. Okay. I, I'm cool with very dark. Bryce, what's good, man? Bottle is goofy. I agree. This bottle, if you guys look at this, is goofy. Like, this looks like they should. I should pull it out of my wallet and spray it on. I'm sure it's too thick, of course, but um, yeah, it's just too tacky. I'm sorry, but the scent looks interesting. Has anyone tried it? It's good, but it doesn't last very long, said Spark HD. Uh, John Carlos says he was not pleased. I guess that was with the original. Uh, at least looks less tacky than the robot. I would take the robot over this credit card, honestly. <laughs> you skipped His Highness Green. Tell all, what is that? What is His Highness Green? Is that on the previous page? I'm going to look that up because I don't want to go looking for it here. I've, I've never heard of that. His Highness. Oh, Afnan. Yeah. I'm not really interested in Afnan at the moment. Hero is super underrated. Won't turn heads. Okay. Um, 
original no limit is super good fresh is okay but we prefer the og smoke aqua di joe edp we just looked at that i think that'll be redundant because i already have profumo uh veneta we'll take a veneta illusion i haven't tried it if i can find it here maybe as long as it's not eight trillion dollars looks like a car battery yes it kind of does it does kind of look like a car battery okay so it sounds like this one i may not need to worry about it to law i do like royal oud um i'm not yeah the bottle alone i'm just like no i'll keep it moving onward match point no uh let's see not in it again trying to keep it to designer i'm getting distracted i'm seeing all these brands i want to check out we're keeping focus designer fragrances only that's what we're doing here let's let's keep it moving again i don't want to look through a ton of pages but we will look through a few we have a couple bookmarks we will come back to them okay not interested cartier this line hasn't really interested in me. It seems a little too light. I'm going to keep it moving. And they may not be new. Again, new designers. Again, not interested in Bad Boy, Torino. I need to try that. Oh, I will try that at some point. Okay, let's keep it moving. What is this? No, I'm not interested in that. What is that? Okay. What is all this? Stella, Talka. Okay. Mm. not seeing a ton of things are getting a little thin in terms of what I'm looking for here. Let's see the fifth page is PDM Halton designer. Well, <laughs> I haven't smelled it. It could be a mainstream fragrance, but we can't call it a designer because it comes from a niche house. And that's a conversation that we've had on the channel many times. Yeah, we're getting into just exclusively niche stuff and then some stuff that, mm, what is, okay. Michael Kors Extreme Journey. I am highly skeptical about that, unfortunately. Let's see. Are there any designer houses I stay away from? Jay, actually, yes. And it's not really all that intentional. I only know it when I see them. I'm like, no, I'm not interested in that. But I couldn't just spout off the list right here. Uh, Trusardi, okay, I heard that one's nice. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. I have a decant of it, Julius. It just didn't move me. It's nice. It didn't move me. See, Devante's bringing back Arctic Bois. Bois Arctic, whatever it is. Devante, is that one good? I, I was looking at it. Is that decent? Actually, is it good? Not decent. Is it good? New TDH flanker. Yep. Okay. All right. I do not have an interest to keep venturing. I'm going to go back to the first page and make sure there's nothing I missed before I check out my bookmarks. So again, we got the Bois Arctic. This is your last chance, guys. If you've tried this and you can vouch for it, that it's amazing, let me know. What else we got here? Okay, Lab on Fire. Again, trying to do designer only. I did see the new 1 million elixir. But I feel like that's going to be too sweet. And moving into the warmer weather. I don't know where that went. It's right there. Cobalt bad boys different from the original fresh version with plum and truffle. That sounds interesting. But that bottle is also a little tacky too. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a, a good classic or at least classy bottle. These Thunderbolts and skateboards and stuff and credit cards. Just like you guys. Ah, um, most wanted lit parfum release of the year. Okay, that's quite a quite a claim there. Cower goals. I have smelled that one. That's nice. It's very sweet. Cold weather. Thank you, smoke. That's very helpful. Um, 
it's sweet, but now I think of it maybe too sweet. Devante, you're talking about the Issey Miyake? That one didn't look very sweet, but maybe it is. I think I like Dior Om Sport 2021. Gentleman's Sport Fragrance has some character. What was the price on that thing? Because that was my intuition. My first thought was like, just pick that one up. I'm always interested in Dior's new stuff. It's 76 bucks. If it was like 90, I probably wouldn't consider it. I'm going to add this to the card. I know we just had a conversation about it. You guys were like, eh. Some of you guys are like, it's good, but not amazing. Am I going to, am I going to, am I going to regret this? We only got one size, 75 mil. That's fine. That's fine. I thought it was going to be 125. I'm glad it's not. I'll take a smaller size. Let's add it to the cart. We're dropping it in there. Continue shopping. Let's see here. It's in the cart, guys. There it is. You see, we got the little one up there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, let's see our bookmarks. So we have Brioni. Yay or nay on Brioni. 72 bucks for 100 mil. Not a bad price. I love the design of the bottle. I do have to say that, but of course, you don't wear the bottle. It sounds different, but still possibly versatile. That's a great combo. That's not always easy to achieve. Those of you who've tried it, can you attest to that? But real quick, I'm going to actually search for the intense version. Um, what's it called? Why is it? Oh, I think this is it. $99. It's sold out. Okay. Well, that explains that get the brioni edp 2021 mike says it's amazing htg says your home ice is good i think uh ross likes that one too which surprised me i'm like oh it sounds like it's actually kind of a standout it'll take a smaller size that's for c said man how long have people saying how long have people been saying that's what she said <laughs> thing is so played out uh, but that's funny, seasoned chicken, You're making me hungry. Um, just released Brioni Eclat. Sounds interesting. Steve Javanchi, gentlemen. Yeah, again, so that sounds interesting to me. Let me look it up. Let's see if it's here. I'm going to say, gentlemen, this is it. For a good price, it's sold out. I am going to look on Max Aroma. I'm not trying to buy from 18 different stores, but it's sold out here. I'm considering it. Again, it's just not something that I think is going to suit the upcoming summertime. That's my only problem. Hillary, good to see you. If you're just tuning in, I'm spending money. That's what I'm doing. But I'm specifically targeting new designer releases because I've been overlooking all new designer releases for a couple years because I'm just kind of jaded by them and we're just inundated by flankers and I'm just like I don't want to look at it anymore but my designer collection has gotten a little light ever since I moved quite a few out so I'm trying to replace some spots with solid choices that is my goal studio sense says it's mature Brioni I'm cool with mature I feel like a 75 year old man someday so I'm cool with that Kanki, thank you so much. We're getting married, guys. I'm getting married in two weeks from Sunday. That's crazy. Bar talk. Yes. Not paying 70. Supreme Gold EDP. I don't know if I know what that is. Where did I just see that? I have to check that out. Who makes that? Is that like actually Supreme? Like the Supreme or is that coming from a brand? uh narciso rodriguez rm yes i am a fan of narciso in fact that's another one i wanted to check out um the blue noir line i know they have a new one right they have a parfum that's 99 dollars. i don't know about that i'm happy to consider the edp has anyone tried this my boy uh 
Joe was telling me about it, and he said it was pretty decent from the uh, from the fresh fam over on Patreon. Frank Olivier Ulvini, okay. Never hear you about Q Boss Bugo Oss. This sent Frank oh, Hugo Boss, I know. <laughs> uh yeah the scent stuff I have to, i'm not sure maybe I'll, I'll do a search we'll see what they got it says a banger i love narciso ombre haven't tried blue noir hey can anyone vouch for this narciso rodriguez for him blue noir edp they say edp smells like chrome man it better not i have it CK1 with Blue de Chanel. CK1 with Blue de Chanel. Mutual says they're okay, not special. Autobiography. Okay, teacher. I wasn't aware of them. Blue Noir is good, has their own vibe. Hmm. Dimitri says it's a great frag. Upholds Ness says it's very good. Abel says. Fire and Narcisa would buy ASAP. I want to take a look at these notes here. I'm curious. Narciso Blue Noir. This is the Eau de Parfum. I did try the original EDT years back. I found it nice. It didn't wow me, but it was nice. I think I preferred the original for him, which they have kind of abandoned that whole line. All right. So as expected, very simplistic note breakdown. I assume Francis Kirkjohn's not doing these fragrances anymore. I'm pretty sure he's busy. Wait. Okay, so this is technically outside of my parameters. This is a 2018 release, but I'm still considering it. Is that right? I thought I just saw that. Yeah, 2018. It's musky. Someone says it's musky. John Carlos says it's decent. It says very easy to wear, pretty classy. Ricardo by the fireplace, very nice. I wouldn't buy Chrome for me with your money. <laughs> parfum sounds really good. Um, okay, the parfum again. The parfum is a hundred bucks, but if it's if it's solid, I will consider it. Where's it at? That's the toilet extreme. Here it is. It looked like the original bottle there. I got thrown off. Parfum. So this is came out this year. Sonia Constant is the perfumer. We got lots of iris. EDP is good. It's a banger. The parfum. Smoke says it's better than the EDP. Houston likes that. <laughs> that is hilarious. By the way, guys, again, I'm wearing this. Every time I move, I'm getting wafts. The Gucci Guilty Absolute. I love this stuff so much. Um, beautiful. Better than EDP, 100%. 100%. That's a high number. Ooh. Let's see here. There's the Parfum sold out okay maybe that's for a reason i'm gonna just pop over here to max roma i'm not gonna do a deep dive into max roma right now i'm not in the mood to scour as much as we did at fragrance buy uh let's see if anything comes up here if this wants to load sounds like this is a lot of work on my computer my fan is going crazy right now um i don't blame it at all Brian says it's not from warm weather. Okay. For EDP, but noir is good. Okay, yeah, she did the whole blue range. I don't know why this isn't loading anything. Maybe there's nothing to load. Buy a random Montal. No. <laughs> uh, Max Roma, what are you doing? Oh, 
Okay, this thing is not, it's clearly not ready. Uh, no way, it's very similar. CK, Eternity from NADP. Hello, Andrew, I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's try one more time. Okay, it's loading now. Okay, it's type parfum and it disappeared. What is this? And they are out of everything. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen here. All right. So we might consider the EDP. Javier, good to see you, my friend. Okay. 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 I don't want to get too lost here. So there's the parfum. Again, it's sold out. That's a shame. EDP is here. What are our options? Only 100 mil boxed for 65. Abel, are we hunting down wedding scents? No, we are not hunting down wedding scents at the moment. I'm just looking for new designer fragrances. New, so within the last couple of years, if possible, that are exceptional. So what are we what are you really looking for? Something good, Thomas. Something really good. That's what I'm looking for. Cool. Aqua di Joe EDP. Again, I, I think that'll be redundant because I have profumo. Thomas, what you got? Wood Neroli is nice. I haven't really looked into that one. Let me look it up. I think I've smelled it. I don't remember. Rochas Lom. Hmm. I don't know anything about that one. Consider it. You know what? My fiance hates Neroli. <laughs> I don't want her to be. Uh, I mean, literally, she hates Neroli, so I don't want to be a repellent to her. Um, let me look up Rochas Lom. Hmm, I think I have seen this. Grace is working right now. Let's see. 2020, Bruno Jovan Jovanovic. People saying, uh, people are loving it. Okay, Blood Orange, Juniper Berry. Interesting. Who, who recommended this? RM? Okay, he might be on to something. Thomas, uh, Christian Provenzano. Okay, I'll bookmark that. This thing looks interesting. RM, does it smell like K? I don't really care for Dolce & Gabbana K. It looks like a lot of people are actually disputing that, so maybe that's invalid. Um, people say, I don't get why, why there's love for this. Orange and ginger, okay. Likeable but not lovable. Nighttime blue. Pleasantly surprised. Really good. Anyone tried this one? Again, this is Lom Rochas. This is the original Lom Rochas from 2020. Okay, um, Thomas, I'm going to look this up. Thomas, is that something you would wear in the summertime at night? Is this a designer fragrance? What's it called? It is called Nuit de Nocas. Noces, maybe? Powdery, amber, vanilla. This looks really good. I don't think this is in the realm of what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, summer stuff because summer is upon us. It's, it looks really great, but 
I don't think I would get much wear out of this coming up here into the next few months. But I will, um, I'm going to put this on my I want it so I can come back to it. Yeah, looking for now. But thank you for the recommendation. I appreciate it. Okay, y'all. What was we had another? Oh, the Gucci Guilty EDP. 50 mil spicy rose. Should I get this, guys? This seems like it would be a summer night scent. You know what? No, no, no. Before we do that, let me look up Lom Rochas. Um, that's the EDP. That's the parfum. Let's look it up here. Uh, Lom Rochas. Do they have it? They have it. Is this thing $25, $26? Hold on here. Okay. RM. Similar to Dolce K, but does it better? Cardamom sexes it up a lot. Quite aromatic after an hour or so. You know what? $26. I'm going to add it to the cart. It's in the cart. I might consider one more fragrance. I appreciate the suggestion, RM. That one seems like it will be nice for the upcoming season, especially at night. I want something that's a little classy. Um, what else we got here? Um, so I'm considering either Blue Noir EDP, Gucci Guilty EDP. I'm considering it. Let's see here. Thomas, what you got? Uh, Boucheron, Porom, Jaipur, Global Citizen. Those are all great. Again, I'm looking at more recent releases here. Fresh K, thank you so much for the super chat. Sorry for the crazy window you guys had to look at. I wanted to pin the super chat. Thank you so much, Fresh K. Appreciate you. Fusion to say extreme. I like the original Fusion to say. Uh, Thomas said mask ray reflection. Oh, mask Milano. So Thomas, right now, again, I'm trying to focus on designer fragrances. I'm trying my hardest to not look at niche because they are interesting me, but I'm trying to focus on designer fragrances right now. But I think I have tried that one and it is very nice. Um, fusion to say, what did you say it was? Extreme. Do they have that here? Let's see. Fusion. Okay, extreme. It looks like it's inexpensive. It's in stock. $46. Is it a... Uh, let's see here. Is this really it? This is the one? Let's see what we got. Natalie Lorson, fan of her. Mint, coconut, lavender, cardamom, okay. Solar notes. Oh, yeah, it has that kind of beachy vibe. I've smelled the original, uh, like I said, and it's nice. Have you guys tried the extreme? Have we tried the extreme? It smells like minty coconut soap. <laughs> Okay, last incredibly long. I can't tell if they like it. It's so funny. Let's see, blast of cardamom, huge, strange bird. I like strange birds. Okay, he said get it from fragrance by. Mm. What do you guys think of this one? Yes, on Issy Noir Fusion Extreme. Beau de Jour, I have that one. I love it. Womo Yellow Dream. Mm. It's, it's good. A slightly creamy coconut blue frag. HTG says go with Blue Noir. 
talking about Blue Noir. So Fusion, ah, I'm not certain. I'm not certain that, I don't know if I'm sold. It sounds interesting. Um, Coconut is a, is a hit or miss for me sometimes. Not that I don't like it, but it's, I have to be in the mood for it. It's very specific. Hmm. It interests me though. Paradise says it has a nice mint note. I do like mint. Fusion Extreme is solid. Okay. JPG Lamar Parfum. Yeah. So again, looking at more summery stuff because summer is upon us. Heard good things about fusion, coral fantasy. See, Valentino. I'm not sure about Valentino these days. It seems like they've just been getting a little bit too <sighs> basic. But can you guys attest? I saw RM put in the Yellow Dream. Fusion looks cool. Fusion. Or the Blue Noir EDP. Or the Guilty EDP. Have I tried Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad? Yes, I have tried that. Very, very nice stuff. Very expensive. Now some auto part done. Yes. Again, guys, if you're, you're just joining in, we're doing designer fragrances, looking for new designers. We have two so far. We got two solid picks so far. We got the Lone Rochas, which is $26. I think that'll be nice. We have Duro Arm Sport, the new one. And wait, I just lost my page here. Oopsie. Wait, what happened to my cart? There it is. Okay. What do you think? Coconut and mint just clashes with the Isimiyaki DNA. Gerard, so you don't like it. You've tried it and you don't like it. Antoine, welcome. Thank you so much was getting phantom vibes from Coral Fantasy. That's interesting, Rodney. Latest Valentino ones are really nice. Let me look up Yellow Fantasy. Let me just look it up. I'm going to, um, how do I? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys, for the crazy looking window. Fresh K, thank you once again for your very generous super chat. Um, really appreciate you. Let's look up Yellow Fantasy. Is that what it's called? Wait, is that a Valentino? I could have sworn that was a Valentino. I assumed it was. Is that what it was called? Did I get that wrong? Yellow Dream. I was mixing up Coral Fantasy and Yellow. Uh, <laughs> the brain is funny. Here it is, Yellow Dream. Yellow dream. Okay. Warm, spicy. Pineapple. Ginger. Gingerbread. Vanilla. Is it really sweet? Let's see here. Uh, people saying it's like strong with you. Is that true, guys? Let me know. Oh. Oh, here's the reviews. Azara wanted less ginger and pineapples quite sweet quite pleasant bubblegum vibe but not like invictus it's kind of fresh someone says they instantly loved it synthetic jar sharp ginger last stupid amount gingerbread man from shrek great yellow dream is strong with you but pineapple Devin. <laughs> We've got to pin that <laughs> yellow coral dream fantasy. That's the next flanker. Um, let's see if it's here. I don't know if it interests me quite enough. I know you guys are just throwing so many at me right now. I apologize if I'm not catching them very quickly. Um, Trevor, again, we're looking at new releases within the last couple of years. I do need to check out Lalique Homage, though. $88. That's a little bit more than I'd like to spend for a Valentino, to be honest. If it was in the $60 range, I might consider it. 
Um, Lex Ellis, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Um, Socrates Solano, run away from Valentino. Yeah, we're not doing this. Uh, I appreciate the recommendation. I'm a little biased right now with Valentino. They've kind of lost favor with me ever since they went a new direction and started this kind of like party boy vibe with their fragrances, very young and youthful. I do miss the original Womo line. So again, I'm not trying to hate on it. If you like them, keep digging them, but I may not give it the time of day at the moment. Uh, Devin, once again, thank you so much for your super chat. Really appreciate you, bro. Okay. We've been here for a little while. I don't know how long we've been here, but it's been it's been over an hour. So I'm trying to get out of here very soon. So instead of continuing to look, I'm going to I'm considering Blue Noir EDP. I'm considering Gucci Guilty EDP, which we've been a little quiet about lately. Again, looking at new fragrances. Are almost 600 here and most of the 300 million people here earn 1k a month tiago i i don't know what to say i can only imagine um mitchell thank you yellow good yellow dream is good enough for the price my shame is born aroma starting my habit oh, okay that's all right no shame um guilty as an edp yeah the edp is, looks interesting again rose and stuff in there anybody final words on this fragrance Ferragamo by Salvatore 2020. I think, you know, Jay, who was it? Jay, Jay Malone? I don't remember if I actually saw your last name. You had asked me a bit ago if there are certain brands that I don't consider or that I tend to overlook. I believe there are. Ferragamo, I do tend to overlook. Valentino, like I said, these days, I do tend to overlook, unfortunately. Um, but let me look this up. Ferragamo, what's it called here? If mm, uh, Is it Womo? No, not Womo. Oh, the, uh, the four-man stuff. Is that what it is? Four-man uh yeah i don't know i don't know if i'm that interested in it i'm sorry i have a weird bias i need to get over that aromatic touch i did hear about aromatic touch what's that all about aromatic touch Okay, this looks cooler weather. It doesn't have a lot of ratings. Two people voted, and it looks like maybe both of them hated this, or at least disliked it. Not a lot of feedback here. Maybe not a lot of people have tried it. Global Citizen, signature from Ferragamo, not for summer. Okay. Anything new from Margiela? Um, I'm sure they have a couple of new stuff, new things, new stuff. English. Um, Gucci is an everyday banger with a hint of sweetness. Jeremy, are you talking about the EDP? I don't think there's any reviews on this. Okay. So is this, this must be brand new. 2022. Aromatic touch. Do they have it? Let's see. You cannot beat that $26 for the original. It looks like they might not have it. I don't believe they have it. That's okay. It's not released yet. Well, that explains it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gucci Guilty EDP and the Parfum both are great. EDP Rose Note is sexy. Okay. I did look up Parfum. Um, I did look it up, and it seems a little basic to me, but 
I was looking at it really quick. Can you guys attest? The EDP sounds kind of different. But can you guys attest that the Parfum is indeed unique? Because it looks like it, it looks interesting. And I, but I was reading some of these reviews and people are saying, oh, it's just kind of like the original, but stronger. And I'm not really interested in that. Yop. And honestly, uh, again, back to Jay's question, Yop is another brand that I tend to overlook, unfortunately. John Carla, yeah, it's not out yet. Okay. Gerard, yeah, Yop, they definitely have new stuff, I'm sure. EDP. Jeremy says he really likes the EDP. Guilty Parfum is the Amplify version of the original. I am not interested in that. That's what I figured it was. So we're not doing the Parfum. Um, EDP, 65 bucks for 50 mil. I'm curious. I think I might be more curious. Am I more curious than this? This is the same price. I don't care about bottle size because I have too many bottles to finish for the next eight lifetimes anyway. I'm cool with smaller bottles. Uh, concrete from Comme de, Comme de Garçon. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's great. I just haven't come across it here. Happy to check it out. Maybe at another time. I keep seeing this illusion. Is that even here? It's here for a good price. I keep seeing that. Shoot the J, just get bold. <laughs> uh, this looks interesting. It's in stock. I love the bottle. I like Bottega Veneta. Let's do a little fragrantica search. Let's get some notes. See what we got. Illusion, 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 whatever it may be. Look at that bottle, that cap. Is that really what it looks like? Probably. That's bad lighting for it. Ooh, let's see. Bitter orange. I'm a fan of bitter orange. It looks kind of simple, but not in a basic way. Fur resin. Ooh, you guys may have hit me with this one. This one might be it. This might be it. I don't, the performance looks moderate. That's fine. I don't care. This might be it. Doesn't look like it reminds people of a ton of regular stuff. Can we attest to this one, y'all? I You guys kept saying it. Someone kept saying that. Was it? I have to initial dialogue. People kept saying that. Sakaroms. Sakuramisi, I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Were you saying that? Oh, someone, I was seeing that pop up and I just kept overlooking it. I don't know why. Opening is stunning, simple but beautiful. You experience all six notes. People say it gets boring after 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's mature. That's fine. One of Maison Dieu's best creations. Okay. Very pleasant, very pleasant. I don't need it to be super strong. That's fine, as long as it doesn't last just an hour. Uh, woody, masculine, pleasant, but uncomplex. Ah, 82 bucks. Javier, what'd you say? Uh, Javier, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it, man. Ryan Ramirez. CK is another brand that I'm usually not always looking at, but I'm testing something here. But um, I do like their Euphoria line. The Eternity line has never truly moved me. Um, I think this might be the one. Yeah, I finally saw your recommendation. I think we're doing it. I'm going to add it to the cart. And okay, we're about to get out of here. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I need one final vote. One final vote. So if you if I should get Blue Noir 
EDP, put a one in the chat. If I should get Gucci guilty EDP, put a two in the chat. Blue Noir is one. Gucci is two. Let me know. Okay, we got... Okay, I'm seeing a lot of twos, a lot of twos, some ones, some ones. Okay, we got a lot of ones coming in. And it's looking almost evenly matched, but people are really saying the Gucci. Mm. Can't leave without choosing between Ronaldo or Messi. I'm not really a big football fan, so I can't really speak to it. Man, it's kind of even here. Why not both? <laughs> Should I get both? What's my total right now? That's not bad. I mean, that's going to definitely bring it up to the $300 range. People saying both. Yep. Vocal says three. And John Carlos says he just ordered it. Free shipping, both. Three for both. <laughs> both. Both. Someone says, I thought Black Edition is better. Yeah, Black is nice from what I remember. Okay, you guys, let's let's just see what the number is. I'm going to put both in the cart. I was not planning to get, how many is this? Five fragrances I'll be getting? Good Lord. I'm going to refresh this page so the cart is updated. Add it to the cart. Wait, did I just add it to the cart? No, where's it at? Add it to the cart. It's in the cart, right? Why is it only showing four items? Refresh. That's weird. Free shipping with five. I'm trying to put it in there. Is this a sign? Should I not? Hold on. No, I definitely, I think it's funny. I think I want guilty EDP more than I want the Narciso, but let's try it one more time. Add it to cart. It's in the cart. Our total is 316. Whoo hoo. Sold out. No, it's in here now. Get the Gucci. Okay. We're going to check out here, and I'm not going to let you guys see my credit card info or anything like that. So we'll only probably only get as far. Okay. So this is what I'm going to get. I'm not going to show you guys all my information. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So rest assured i'm going to just so you guys know i'm gonna you're not gonna see me do it but i'm going to finalize my cart wait what just happened is this it oh wait a minute oh wait a minute okay here it is check out i'm just gonna check out with you guys here with me i just uh I want to keep everything confidential. I'm sure you can understand. How did I do? <laughs> yes, peer pressure. I gave in. I was not planning on getting so many of these things. Uh, let's see here. Just forgive me for a second while I put in my information. And this order shipped. And it should ship it on Monday, if I'm not mistaken. 
save my zip code. All right, continue to shipping. That's all correct. Yep, free shipping. Said two ends with five. <laughs> I'm a mess. Uh, I am a mess. Anybody got any uh, coupon codes for fragrance buy? <laughs> I don't think they have any. Uh, let me just do real quick. Let me do a quick search in my email just to make sure they have no promos because they send me stuff from time to time. Fragrance buy. Doesn't look like it. They have an annual giveaway. No. Okay. Nothing. I'm on my own. All right. Whoa. This is so weird. Every time I click out of the tab and I come back to it, it like kicks me out. Okay. We're still in here. My stuff is still in here. Continue to payment. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay the money. I'm going to pay the money. I'm writing it off. Just know that this is a write off. This is a tax write off. <laughs> okay. All right. All righty, righty, right. Okay. We're about to pay. I'm going to show you guys what happens when I pay here. I'm going to show you. Just so you can see that I actually did it. See, I need to do that loyalty program. Okay. Actually, I can't because when you're looking at my computer, uh, that's fun. <laughs> what I'm not even thinking. No, I can, I can share the page. Um, just real quick, let me show you. Just real quick. I appreciate you guys hanging out. So as you can see, the order is complete. We can see we got Gucci Guilty EDP. We got Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir. We got uh, EDP, I should say. We have Bottega Veneta Illusione for Men. Really excited about that. We have Rochas Lom 2020. And we have Dior Own Sport 2022. So I have to say, I am, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping to get some more hope back with designer fragrances. Um, I steered clear of the, you know, crazy heavy flamboyant just flagrant flankers and uh let's see ron is saying the fusion extreme i might have to i might have to circle back to that we'll see yes business expenses um mature that is canadian dollars that's canadian 412 canadian and it will convert don't worry yeah, Gerard Grey Vetiver is discontinued from what I understand. Um, okay. Yes, we will do an unboxing. So those of you guys who hung out with me, I appreciate it. Um, and, and, you know, those of you guys who are here, I think you, you can expect to see the unboxing video. Again, I think they'll ship on Monday. I should have it probably by the following Monday at the latest. So hopefully within the next two weeks, even though it's going to be a crazy time, I'll be getting married maybe around the time it arrives. We'll see. Uh, can I recap? Um, yeah, I thought I just did. <laughs> maybe I didn't. Yeah, the, the, all the fragrances I bought, I think we did recap. So uh, really appreciate you guys hanging around. Uh, this was kind of a weird thing. I think people, I didn't think you'd want to watch it, but here, you guys all hung out, 130 of you so far. And uh, you can see Penny's back here. Oh, she just hopped off. Anyway, um, I'm going to go work out, shower. I'm going to film a video. 
uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to start a new uh, schedule. This was recommended to me by Grace. I'm going to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, live stream on Saturday, and then rinse and repeat. We'll see if I can stick to that. That's the plan. So I will see you guys on Monday with a new video. Hopefully it's good. That's my plan is to make it good. And y'all just take care. Have a great rest of your weekend and uh, be well to yourselves. Eat good, drink water, gas people up if they deserve it. It's free. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.